Hello and welcome to Edison TV. Today I'm joined by Paul Mullins, Chief Product Officer at Cordell. Cordell are an AIM-listed technology company um, which specialises in AI-powered automated infrastructure monitoring, particularly for the railway industry. And today we're exploring the company's growth opportunity in positive train control. Paul, many thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Dan. Great to be here. And can you start by explaining exactly what um, positive train control is? Absolutely. So, yeah, PTC, it's a it's a complex, um, technically integrated safety system that's mandated primarily for class one railroads in the USA. So the systems are designed uh, to prevent accidents caused by human related errors. So, for example, if a train operator like fails to stop at a signal, for instance, the PTC system will uh, take over and breaks before the train you know, passes that signal, for instance. Um, specifically, the system's designed to you know, stop train to train collisions, uh, overspeed derailments, um, and things like you know, operators moving through switches that they shouldn't move through and, and those types of circumstances where, where an error has occurred. Can you talk about the um, process behind the PTC mandate in the US and the work that, that Cordell is doing now? Yeah, that's right. So in the US, the, the FRA actually mandated this requirement uh, in 2008 with an implementation date due in 2015. So you're right, we're talking you know, 10 years ago now that this was due to be implemented in the PTC systems in operation. Um, due to the complexity that uh, ran into some delays um, and, and ultimately it wasn't until you know, 2020 and later that the systems were actually up and running uh, and in operation at each of these class one railways of which there are seven um, and from Cordell's perspective we're quite uh, you know happy with the position we are in at the moment which is that we have signed partnerships with three of those seven class one railroads to develop this solution uh, in, in conjunction with them in a way that ensures that it meets this complex problem and solves this complex problem um, from the outset um, uh, and, and specifically for the problems that they are facing. And in terms of um, implementing a PTC, PTC solution, it looks as if there are quite a different few, a number of different elements to it. Um, can you explain exactly where Cordell fits in in all of this? Yeah, so if we look at there's kind of three main areas of PTC solution. So the first one is an onboard locomotive equipment. So there's like a controller, which includes GPS systems. It has uh, to tell, you know, obviously the location of the train at any point in time. We have driver advisory displays to tell the driver to take action and advise the driver what's happening. Um, and obviously there's an automated braking system that's that's included in the, the PTC onboard equipment as well. So that's one element. Um, the second element is the, is the track side infrastructure and the communication system. So this is the signals, the switches, the signs, the track itself, but also the communication systems that, um, you know, that provide real time data exchange back to a, a back office server. Um, and the third part is this back office server. So this back office server is effectively the central brain of a PTC system, and it issues out commands based on the status of the trackside equipment. So, you know, what color are the signals at, but also the status and location of the train. You know, it's looking at speed and it's looking at whether, you know, whether it's traversing a particular area of track. And so where this applies for Cordell is that underpinning each of these three elements is a precise understanding of the physical environment including the location and status of various trackside assets. So those switches, those signals and those things. So that's incorporated into all three of those systems. And this is where the Cordell solution fits in. We provide the controlled source of truth for each of those core components. So Cordell recently um, signed a, a major contract in the US with a, a class one um, railway operator, and that included um, a pr provision for PTC. Can you uh, tell us more about that? Yeah, absolutely. 
So, uh, so this is a, as for Cordell, a really big moment uh, for us as a company. Uh, this contract represents our second class one railroad in the US uh, alongside Amtrak. Uh, and of course, this is in addition to our contract with GNW, who is, uh, is a, ma a major short line player in the US as well. So um, three of the, the heavyweights, I guess, into, uh, into the US uh, for Cordell. Um, within uh, the core of this contract, uh, this class one has indicated that based on uh, the expected delivery of the PTC proposition, um, they're planning to sign up to a multi-year contract at around about 800,000 American dollars per annum uh, for just the core PTC services. Um, so they're part of what we call first wave or our early adopters, I guess, is another term for that. Um, and as such a benefiting from a discount that we've applied uh, to this product. And the reason for that is to compensate them for uh, the benefit Cordell will gain by working in unison with them um, to fast track our go to market and really take on this partnership approach to delivering this, um, this product. Um, so our target is to have this contract up and running by the start of uh, the calendar year 2026 um, and start being able to provide them with, with the PTC audits that we are um, engaging them with. And, and looking at Cordell's solution and expertise in particular, um, what are the key competencies, what are the key technologies that Cordell has that make you relevant to this market? We're providing the accurate and dynamic map of the railway um, physical assets, so the, the network's physical assets. So we ensure this knowledge base that the PT system is always relying on uh, is current and accurate. And that's paramount for preventing these accidents but it's also important for avoiding false interactions that may stop a train unnecessarily um, as a false alarm. Um, and so given the scale of these networks, to give you an idea, we're talking 60,000 miles of track, you know, hundreds of thousands of assets that need to be maintained and, and assured of where they are. Our approach to using multimodal AI and automation to accelerate this detection of change to the, the physical environment is crucial to ensuring the system remains compliant um, um, and efficient. So coupling our core technologies with our scalable end-to-end -end solutions, you know, informed with our, uh, our sector knowledge and our, our rail industry expertise, gives us a fantastic opportunity to succeed in this market. And you mentioned uh, multimodal AI there. Can you explain to us what that is and, and why that is important? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it's, a, it's a core part of the technology that will uh, um, be incorporated into our PTC solution. And multimodal AI consists of using two different technology or more than one multi um, types of technology to deliver an AI um, process. So our AI process is about extracting these trackside assets. So the, the location of signals and the location of switches and things. But the two types of technologies that we are using are our LiDAR scanning equipment and also imagery that's coming from our uh, video capture systems. Now, historically, those two systems live separate from each other. LiDAR is very good at giving you uh, positional accuracy um, and the ability to measure things at a very high accuracy. But you don't get any context of the text written on a sign or the colour of an object. Whereas video is very good at giving you those types of things. You can read the text of a sign or you can see the colour of, of an asset, um, but you can't measure things very well in imagery. You don't have the ability to have you know, millimetre level accuracy in, in video data. So when you deploy a multimodal AI model, you're benefiting from the benefit of both of those technologies in the one model. Uh, and that's something that is new and unique to the rail industry that uh, Cordell uh, is um, you know, a leader in developing this technology and incorporating it into usable AI systems that can be uh, deployed um, efficiently and effectively by the railroads. And looking at the, your PTC solution, can you explain how that integrates with the rest of your um, rail infrastructure monitoring solutions and 
also how it might enable cross-selling of those solutions into that customer base down the track? Yeah, great question. So uh, Cordell um, has three kind of strategic approaches to the way we deliver our products. We have our unattended automated capture systems that are always out on track, scanning the environment and capturing uh, an understanding of the environment around us, that this digital model. Um, we also have our uh, data management platform where all of this data lands and provides the visualizations and the tooling to manage this bulk amount of data that is being captured at any point in time. And we also have our various analytical assessments that allow us to process um, for different types of use cases and solutions and problems that arise in the rail corridor. So our approach to positive train control is not about developing a standalone PTC system. It's about providing a highly accurate and continuously scaling track, set, track side asset database that's essential to form a robust change management solution. And so the data that we capture is intrinsically linked and delivered through Cordell's core platform, Cordell Connect. Um, and because our core platform captures this comprehensive digital model of the entire railway, the same data that we collect for PTC purposes can be leveraged across a number of other operational and maintenance fun functions. So this organically leads to other use cases like vegetation management, like clearance assessments, like ballast profiling, and, and any of the other products that are in, our, in the Cordell suite of, uh, of offerings. And now, now turning towards the anticipated um, development and commercial pathway for the product, can you talk about the, the next steps and when you expect to see the, the solution go live and, and revenues to be generated? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it's a really exciting time here at Cordell at the moment. So we have our MVP of the PTC product launching uh, in July this year. So this will unlock you know, about 90% of the functionality we expect deploy to deploy across all the clients that use this product um, and so but the final 10 percent of functionality leverages our ability to integrate directly with individual oper operational needs of our clients um, and so it's for this reason this last 10 percent that we've partnered with three class one railroads early in our development cycle so we can build a system that is truly built for rail in a collaborative way um, so when we think about uh, the commercial side of things, uh, we're, we're in discussions, as I mentioned, with multiple class one prospects. Um, we expect when we integrate to have a short project phase with each client before then moving into a, a SaaS monthly subscription phase to deliver PTC audits as a service through multi-year contracts uh, and keep those asset, those trackside asset databases uh, as, con as current as possible as a continuous service. Um, in terms of timing, we expect 2026 calendar year to see the start of significant revenue from the PTC product uh, for, for Cordell, uh, with the goal of securing you know, that integra integration phase, the project phase uh, beforehand uh, inside the 2025 calendar year um, uh, to get the, the, the ball rolling here. Paul, uh Interesting stuff. Many thanks for coming in today and look forward to following your progress over the next months and years. Thanks for having me, Dan. Pleasure.